Pritchard. Any chance you're still there? Jensen, my god. You've been offline for days. Where the hell are you? I was hoping you'd tell me. I'm pinging you now. You're in... Singapore. Something's wrong, Jensen. I pinged you, and a second later I lost your GPL signal. It's like you disappeared into a black hole. Gotta be a jammer. Well, obviously. If you can find the transmitter and take it offline, I'll be able to track you. And keep you on a tighter leash. I've got more important things to do than help you keep tabs on me. If Megan and her team are here, there's no time to waste. malfunction in the multi-channel peripheral nerve biochip, a device which transmits neural impulses directly to inorganic tissue. She is urging people to visit their local limb clinics immediately to have the faulty chips replaced. must have done something, Jensen. Four of our GPL signals just popped up, including yours. Koss, Colvin, Faraday. I'm not picking up Dr. Reed. Send me the coordinates you do have. And Pritchard, tell Sarif. I can't. While you were incommunicado, Mr. Darrow invited him, Bill Taggart, and the UN delegates to Panchea. They're halfway to the Arctic by now. Great. <laughs> Access granted. issued an unprecedented recall on augmentation
Jensen? Good grief, lad. What the blaze has happened to you? I made the mistake of surviving. I'm here to get you out, Dr. Faraday. I told the silly that Seraph wouldn't stop looking. Sevchenko's dead, Dr. Faraday. I'm sorry. I figured as much. One day, he was just gone, and they wouldn't say why. We were all afraid, so we just kept to the work. They forced me to create a signal pattern that could broadcast software upgrades directly into a person's implanted circuitry. Upgrades? That do what? Whatever instructions have been encoded into them. They said it was to improve efficiency at clinics, but that wouldn't be the only application. Far from it. Really? What about Dr. Reed? Her GPL signal isn't broadcasting. Do you know where she is? In the secured zone. You'll never get in there. Too many guards. A distraction might encourage them to leave the area. Say, an incident in one of the labs? A bold plan, my boy. But one small incident would never be enough. No, you're right. But three simultaneous accidents might. <laughs> I like your style, son. And it just might work if you can get near an Eric to agree. But timing them to occur at once, that will be the trick. I'll worry about the timing. For now, sit tight and wait for my signal. There's one thing you're forgetting, lad. They can track our GPL signals. I thought as much. But we have no choice. There may be something. Vasily wanted to upload a virus onto their security network, disable their GPL protocols. Eric or Nia might know more about it. I'm still looking for Dr. Koss. I don't suppose you could point me in the right direction. Eric showed an amazing bit of courage a few weeks back. Slipped a note into one of the project reports, telling me they've got him locked inside a lab on the third floor of the Microgen building. I suspect, though, they'll have cameras and other security devices protecting it. You'll have to be on your guard, son. Any idea who's behind this, Doc? The kidnapping, the facility? Not really. Remarkable, considering I've been here six months. You would have thought someone would let something slip. But if it doesn't have to do with the research, you don't get a word out of them. Sounds like the guards are well trained. But what kind of threats were needed to stop the other researchers from talking? Well, there were threats early on just to get us to work. Of course, Vasily saw right through that. Kept saying they needed us. I suppose in his case, the risk outstripped the return at some point. Damn them. Dr. Sevchenko probably knew the risks and accepted them. That he did. Go on, lad. Let's put this plan of yours into action. It's time to teach these wankers a lesson. Have you seen Nia Colvin lately? I haven't found her yet. They've done a good job keeping us all separated, but I suspect she'll be in the Microgen building. There's a skywalk connecting the two buildings. If you can find it, you won't have to go back outside. Gotcha. Just be ready. When you feel your GPL vibrate, set off that distraction. Understood, lad. But do be careful.
Please, I'm just a scientist. You don't need that weapon. Dr. Koss, I'm here to get you out. Jensen? From Sarif? But we were told we'd been written off. Not exactly. Listen, Jensen. They forced me to work for them. I didn't want to create the new biochip, especially since it was based on Sarif's research, but they didn't give me a choice. No one doubts your loyalty, Dr. Koss. Do you know what they plan to do with this new biochip? I'm not sure. They said something about having Tai Young Medical produce it and distribute it through Lin, but I, I can't be sure. I know, and I'm here to bring you all back. But to reach Megan, I need you, Colvin, and Faraday to stage lab accidents as a distraction, simultaneously. Isn't that a little risky? Besides, how will we coordinate these accidents? Uh, it's impossible. Maybe not. But it's that or staying here and eventually ending up like Dr. Sevchenko. They killed him, didn't they? He, he kept provoking them, coming up with these wild escape plans. They try to keep us apart as much as possible now. All right, Mr. Jensen. I'm with you. What's our next move? We need to disable their GPL tracker. I know Dr. Sevchenko was working on something. Yes, a, a virus program. We all thought it was too risky considering we had nowhere to go. But I don't have it. You'd better check with Nia or Declan. Dr. Koss, the bioship you mentioned was based on Sarif studies? Yes, I believe so. Uh, at first I thought it was merely convergent research, but uh, I've worked with Dr. Reed long enough to recognize her handiwork. Uh, besides, I had been working on something similar back in Detroit. And your knowledge of it made you invaluable here? At least to a certain extent. Uh, it probably helped us all stay alive. But now with Dr. Shevchenko, I guess we've all become expendable. Except for Dr. Reed, I suppose. Why do you say that? It's more of a general feeling, I guess. Back in Detroit, uh, we all realized that we were on the verge of something groundbreaking. And here, well, everyone seems to view her research as crucial in some way. That might explain why she's being held in a secured area. Possibly. I'm just glad we're going home. It's kind of hard to believe. I haven't been able to locate Dr. Colvin yet. Any idea where she might be? Yes. Yes, I th think. Uh, for a while, Nia used to work on this floor, but uh, she can be rather headstrong. And I think the guards were afraid she'd try to talk to me. They moved her to a more isolated lab on the second floor of the building. I'm sure it's locked, though. So you'll 
You'll have to find another way in. Sit tight, Dr. Cross. When you feel a vibration from your GPO, set off that distraction. That'll be the signal. I will. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. And hurry. Get the hell out! This lab is off limits to you people. Nice to see you too, Dr. Goldman. What? Wait a second. I know you. You were Seraph's security guy. <sighs> Way to protect our asses. Hey, check the attitude, Doc. I nearly died trying to save you. Oh, and now you're here to take me back. Well, maybe I don't want to go. Maybe I've got more here than I ever had at Seraph. Would Vasily Sevchenko agree with that? They executed him and dumped his body in a ditch. That's not true! Believe it. Unless these murderers have you so brainwashed, you don't mind building their toys. It wasn't a toy. It... It was a software upgrade that limits functionalities in a biochip. They told me it was for crowd control. Is Vasily really dead? You saw the body? What was left of it? Oh my god. I should have listened to him. Dr. Coven. If we can distract the guards, I may be able to reach Megan. Some staged incidents in the labs would do it. I've spoken with the others. Declan and Eric. Of course. Interesting idea, Mr. Jensen. Ambitious, but risky. The timing will be critical. I'll coordinate the attack. But you understand that this could all backfire. I'm no shrinking violet, Mr. Jensen, but... There may be another issue. The GPLs, I know. I don't suppose you have a copy of Dr. Sevchenko's viral program. I see the others filled you in. Here. Upload it to the central security computer, and it'll scramble the scanners. They won't be able to track us. Dr. Coven, I need to know I can trust you. You seemed pretty happy to be here until I told you about Dr. Sevchenko. It's been six months, Mr. Jensen. Not long for you, perhaps, but how long can a person live in constant fear? Once they took us out of isolation, it just seemed easier to concentrate on the work. Did all of you feel that way? Vasily didn't. Maybe not Declan either, but the work we do here, the discussions, and the theories. I thought Seraph's projects were far-reaching, but the experiments I've seen going on here, it's the kind of stuff DARPA dreams up every day. Only without governmental oversight keeping you in line. I suppose I'm just a typical scientist to you, right, Mr. Jensen? Blindly pushing boundaries? No care for who's footing the bill or how our discoveries get made? We all have to live with ourselves at the end of the day, Dr. Colvin. You're right, of course. But were things so different in Detroit? We all know where those Seraph contracts came from, don't we? You asked me if you could trust me. You can. But you better get on with this. This compound is pretty big, Doc. Where exactly do I find the security computer? There's a tunnel near the back of the compound. I believe it will take you to the machine. At least that's what Vasily said. Perfect. For now, just stay put. Once I upload the virus, it'll be time to act. I'll signal you. Your GPL will vibrate. I'll be ready. Thank you.